Hello, in this tutorial we are going to be covering creating and implementing the basics of a game over state. So as usual the first thing you want to do is go to your definition file and we're going to create a actually just one definition and that is going to be the background file path. This is going to be called game over background file path. It's going to be the same background as the sky image and again like I explained in the previous video, even though it's the same image, the reason we're loading in the texture again essentially and putting it as a different name and we're having a separate file path is so if we do want to change the background at a later date, we can just come into one location, change it here and it will just reflect everywhere else. So now we need to create the HPP and CPP files for the game of the state. So for whatever IDE you're using, I'm pretty sure you're familiar with your IDE. Let's create a class files and these are going to be called game over state. And you want to add it to your target if you're on Mac. And this is going to be very similar to the game state at the moment. So copy and paste the code from your game state HPP to your game over state HPP. And in here, you just need to update this to say game over state, update the constructor. Everything else can actually remain the same. And now what you need to do is just copy and paste the code from the game state CPP and put that in the game over state file. And what you want to do is replace game state with game over state this with game over state basically anywhere they say game state just replace it replace replace and replace so what we need to do we can get rid of the c out i'll get rid of the c out from the cpp file like so and we have a game background but we're going to call this game over background now and we need to load in the game over background file path and to set the texture, we're going to be using game over background. The only event that we're handling for now is the closed event. Nothing in the update. And for drawing, we are just drawing the background. So that's it for the game over state. If we run this now, we'll hopefully get a successful build, which we just did. And the game splash state will take us to the main menu state. Click the play button, we go to the game state. No way at the moment to go to the game over state because we don't have any game logic, but you can test this. I'm actually going to leave this as an extra task for you. And here's a couple of ways that you could test it. One, you could, instead of going to the game state in the main menu, temporarily go to the game over state just to make sure it's working. Or you could something from, let's say, the game state. You could, instead of closing the window here, you could go to the game over state the way you did in the main menu state and the splash state just temporarily but we'll be implementing all of the functionality to go automatically to the game over state when the user has died so that is it for creating the basics of our game over state if you have any questions feel free to post them on my educational platform sonarlearning.co.uk if you want to check out the source code from this video or any video on this course, feel free to check out the link that is, well, with this video and it'll have every piece of source code that you need. And as usual, thank you for watching and I hope you have a great day.